and welcome to the Idea Space Podcast, a place for women who want to create the life they've been dreaming of. This is where women come to learn how to get their ideas out of their head and into the world. Whether you've wanted to create a better relationship, job, business, hobby, or a better self, I bet there's something more that you want, and it's time you were able to get it without feeling overwhelmed, alone, or confused. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a high school teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women bring their ideas to life and get what they want without feeling guilty, selfish, or confused. If you're tired of your dream living inside your brain and are ready to have what you want, you're in the right place. And I promise you can have it and you can stay sane while doing it. Let's go. Hi, welcome back to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm Jen Liddy, your host, and today I'm asking you, have you ever cheated on yourself? By the time I meet most of my clients, they've cheated on themselves hundreds, maybe thousands of times. They say they're going to do something, but they don't because they never get around to it. And I'm putting air quotes around never get around to it because that's a choice that we make. Now, my clients say they want something really bad but something else always comes up. They have other people to take care of. They have lots of things to take care of. Something else always gets in the way. Now, I totally get it. Life gets lifey. We get busy and time gets away from us. Or we mindlessly go through our days until we get to the end of the month and remind ourselves, oh my God, this month I was supposed to have lost 10 pounds or gotten three new clients or created a social media strategy? How did I get to the end of the month and I haven't done this thing yet? Now, all of these things that we want, they're kind of hard or sucky or uncomfortable. And so our brains put them out of our head and we get to go on autopilot and we get to take care of other people. And I want to be real here because this is what cheating on ourselves looks like. So here we go again. We begin to doubt ourselves. We've, we've cheated on ourselves so long that we don't trust ourselves anymore. We're like, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. I want that thing. I want it so badly. So why do I never do anything about it? I mean, we make really crappy choices and we cheat on ourselves. In other words, if someone in your life had cheated on you over and over again, If someone in your life had not shown up for you and not done the thing she or he said he was going to do, would you trust that person? If someone you dealt with every single day on an intimate level let you down over and over and over again, would you trust that person? Of course not. And this is exactly why you have doubts about whether you can move forward and have that thing you want you've cheated on yourself a lot. You have not made yourself or your goal a priority. You've said you wanted something, but your actions have proven just the opposite to be true. Okay, that's where you are now. I've been there too. Consider yourself currently in an untrustworthy relationship with yourself. And the sooner that you admit this truth, it's easier because then you can let go of a whole bunch of shit that's living in your head. What does it feel like to just say, oh my God, I've been cheating on myself. Just say it because there's something you want and you haven't gotten it yet. And it's because you've been cheating and now you don't trust yourself. That's it. There's no judgment around this. I'm not judging you. I've been there. And if you're judging you, you're going to stay stuck and continue to stay stuck. So there's nothing to judge yourself about. There's nothing to beat yourself up about. This is just the circumstance. It's the current state of affairs. And it can change right now. Want to build trust again with yourself? Well, how would you do that with your child or your partner or your colleague? I'd bet you start, you'd start with an apology. So go ahead and apologize to yourself. Then accept your own apology don't judge yourself. Just say, thanks. I accept that. And wow, like how kind is that for you now and for your future self? Next, if you were trying to build trust with someone external to you, you'd make a plan. You'd say, I really want X. 
I'm going to do X. I commit to X. You'd get real intentional with yourself. And third, if you were trying to build trust with someone you cared about, you'd show up for the thing you just committed to. You'd follow through, even when it sucked, even when it was uncomfortable, even if you didn't want to in that moment. Now, stay with me here and think about the things that you do for the people you love, your kids, your partner, your spouse, your best friend. Think about how you show up for them. They trust that you show up. And when you screw up, you make a change. You do things for them sometimes when you don't even want to. If you want doubt to leave your mind for good, I want you to understand this is a process. You have to earn trust back with yourself. It's a process that doesn't happen overnight, which means you will screw up and fall back into old patterns. Now, you give other people the grace to do this. I know that you do. Other people in your life can screw up and you're just kind of like, yep, of course you screwed up because we need to screw up. And it's by the screwing up that we learn things. Can you give yourself that grace? If you've been listening to me for a while, you know the drill. The first step is to acknowledge it, be aware of it, and see it. See what you've been doing to yourself. See how you've been cheating. And then don't judge. Don't get mad at yourself. Don't look to the past and beat yourself up because that does not move you forward. Then you make a change. So what do you have to start doing to earn your own trust back? What do you have to start thinking to stop cheating on yourself? This last piece, what do you have to start thinking to stop cheating on yourself? That's the hardest part. And that's what I teach my clients. This whole goal getting nonsense is not just about what to do. So that's the myth that you really have to do something different. If you want different results, you have to start with what you're thinking. And I'm wondering, what are you thinking Do you even notice? Do you notice what's going on in your brain that's keeping you cheating on yourself? My guess is the thoughts are very similar to what my clients think. I can't do this. I don't know how. I don't have help. I can't afford help. This isn't important. Other people's things are more important. I have to take care of X, Y, and Z before I can take care of the thing I want. All of these thoughts are keeping you from getting what you want. Entrepreneurship is all about changing your thinking. Building something is all about what you think. What are you thinking? Do you even know? The purpose of my podcast is to help you get intentional with what's going on in your brain so that you can start to get the results that you've been dying for for years. Once you start to look at what you're thinking, I'm going to tell you right now, It's hard and it can be really uncomfortable. So you can't judge yourself for what's going on in your brain. It's just a data point. You're just like, this is where I am right now. And I want to change that thinking. The biggest mistake my clients make is to try to shove their thinking away or try to turn it around 180 degrees. So if they're saying, I don't know how to do this, they they might bring in a thought of like, of course, I know how to do this, but it doesn't work that way. You have to shift your thoughts incrementally. And I did not know how to do this for a long time. I believed that my thoughts were in charge of my whole life and that who I was was who I had to be and who I had to stay. And it turns out that that's a lie. You get to play with your thoughts. You're in charge of your thoughts. So I've learned how to do this and I can teach you. I've taught my son. I've taught friends who are interested. I've taught my husband. You can have what you want. You just have to get really intentional with what you're thinking. And those doubt thoughts that are in your mind, that cheating on yourself that's happening all the time, it's just because you're not quite intentional enough about controlling your thoughts. So you can keep on doing what you're doing. And I do put air quotes around the doing because the doing comes from what you're thinking. If you're thinking, I don't know how, guess what? You don't know how, and so you're not doing. If you're thinking, I don't believe in myself, guess what? You're taking actions that reflect that thinking. So next year on this date, what do you want your life to look like? If you stop cheating on yourself, you will get there. 
I promise. Because if I can do it, if I can turn my life around 180 degrees, you can do it. I can totally show you how. Let's talk to see how I can help you get unstuck. It's time to ask yourself, how is what I've been doing working out for me? It's time for you to stop cheating on yourself and to get intentional with your thoughts. It's time for you to earn your trust back and squash that freaking doubt that's been keeping you right where you are. Tune in next week when I wrap up this month by interviewing two women who really had to figure out how to overcome doubt and work together to create their dream business. I'll introduce you to them next week. And until then, get inside your head and get intentional. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app. Or tell that friend of yours who'd really love to bring her idea to life about it. If you'd be so kind to leave a review, then together we can help more women with the desire to create the life she wants find this podcast. Isn't it time we got our ideas out of our head and into the world? Remember, you can grab my free resource, Bring Your Idea to Life in Three Easy Steps, even if you don't have the time, by visiting me over at jenliddy.com forward slash time. I'll see you next time. And remember, all you need to do is take the very next step you know how to. Bye.